Hi, I'm Aaron Suttonfield with RDS Lawn Care Services. I'm here again with Jeff Zobel from Green Resources. We've moved uh, to another property to show you guys uh, what you could expect out of a uh, yard that does not have irrigation. Uh, this lawn that we're standing in uh, is a very good customer of ours. They, uh, they get all of our treatments um, uh, throughout the year, except for fungicides. We don't do fungicides on them. Um, but uh, they are fed regularly. They are overseeded. This yard does not receive much water at all. There's not an irrigation system. They don't do any uh, additional watering much. Um, and so you're seeing a very natural situation here. Um, and it's June the 23rd. As we stand here right now, it's 98 degrees. Uh, we've had nine straight days of temperatures above 95. During that time, we've set four uh, records. So we've had four days that set records in nine out of nine days. And, um, you know, we're coming off of May where we didn't have any water. We had less than one inch of rainfall in 31 days, and we had temperatures in the, in the mid 80s and 90s. And so this lawn has really been tested over the last 60 days. And so you're starting to see what happens to turf, uh, fescue turf especially, uh, when when it uh, goes to a drought. So, uh, Jeff, if you talk to us a little bit about what this turf is dealing with uh, right now, and then what we can expect uh, for this turf to do when we get some cooler temperatures and some more rainfall. Sure, sure. And as you can see, there's there's a dividing line with the shade from the tree. You almost see some green in here, and then if you look over here, there's pretty much all the green's gone. Um, it's it's pretty much gone to a straw brown color. And this is that dormancy part that we were talking about, or we've talked about earlier, where the, the fescue is just trying to hang on, it's trying to survive. So it doesn't spend any extra energy on everything above the ground. Uh, by doing that, then of course all the top is gonna go in a chlorotic state like this, where you see the straw color. And and basically it's, it's just trying to survive with the root system that it already has in place. Uh, by being dormant and not dead, then it's going to have a chance to recover when we do get some rain since it's, this isn't an irrigated yard. Um, it's been well maintained other than the lack of water so I think it has a good, really good chance of recovering uh, just just because of what it, the nutrients that were already there in the ground. Yeah and so this this yard is not dead it is dormant um, and the uh, we use a Falcon 4 and 5 uh, turf blend and uh, Jeff tell them a little bit about the advantage of having that high quality seed now for, sure. for this yard. Uh, Fal Falcon is probably the best drought tolerant variety of turf fescue that there is. Uh, they're doing a lot of new testing now on drought tolerance and it's actually performing well enough to where they're, in, in lab samples they're actually sh shutting the water off and testing all these different varieties of fescue to see how long they can survive before they turn brown. Um, and the falcon was surviving as much as 42 days after the water had been shut off. So, just it, that's one of the good reasons why RDS is using some, a, a high quality seed, and that's why we carry something like that. So you can run it, you can you can keep your yard alive in a situation like that. Yeah. And so, what's going to happen to this lawn over the next uh, 60 days as we go into July and August? The temperatures are going to cool down. Uh, the long-term forecast does show that. That's going to help this grass a lot. Hopefully, we get some rainfall. Um, you know, but as we move through July and August, we are going to be treating your lawn. And, and so a lot of people may think, don't touch this yard, let's just wait till September when we reseed. But uh, we're actually going to do uh, a treatment in our normal treatments to your lawn called Hydrotain, which is a moisture management product. It's going to bond to the roots of the plant. Uh, it's going to be in the soil and it's going to be around through the through the fall and winter months to help the reseeding uh, process, to help germination. Uh, so a lawn that's not irrigated is going to receive those uh, treatments and it's going to help as we uh, uh, reseed in, the, in September, aerate, and get that, that seed germinating and growing. Um, also, um, you know, just the cooler temperatures and some more rainfall is going to is going to rejuvenate this lawn and bring this this lawn out of the dormant state. Um, one thing to mention too that's important: um, if you can water a lawn, uh, if your lawn has gone to this point, you know, water, but water heavy and right. water for long durations. Right. Light watering is not a good thing for a lawn like this. It's actually going to it could actually be detrimental because it could burn right. uh, more than it helps. Yeah, um, you, you build a short thin root system instead of a deep root system. Right, and so drench the lawn down, uh, you know, 
you know, do as much as you can to keep it going. Um, you can see over in this area here, this is an area that has received some water. I did notice uh, that it was getting some irrigation, and you can see that it's held some green a little bit better than, than in this area. Um, you know, so um, so don't don't feel that your lawn is dead. Uh, it, 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 if we don't get some more rainfall in the next uh, you know 10 to 15 days, uh, we will see some of these yards start to die. Sure. But um, you know, a lot of this grass will come back and will will be rejuvenated. Obviously, a, a yard a fescue lawn should be on a reseeding program. Uh, this is the reason why, because we're going to have some of this grass that thins out, sure. and we're going to reseed that in September and build this back up. And so that's kind of the process with fescue uh, in the Carolinas when you have, you know, nine straight days above 95. So, um, so we hope that these videos have helped. We hope that this, uh, this video helps you understand, uh, you know, what you're dealing with during these, these situations. And we appreciate Jeff coming out and, and working with us today thank, and, thank and, uh, and talking with us. Absolutely.